Welcome to Darth Hawk Gaming. So Ubisoft is putting ads in their games. So playing Assassin's Creed Mirage, the reports are that if you go to the menu and try to open up the map, it shows you an ad for the game you're playing. And Ubisoft made a statement, oh yeah, that's a technical error, it wasn't supposed to do that. So it's supposed to show you an ad, but not, not an ad for the game you're playing. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, first thing, anyone who's still buying Ubisoft games, because, you know, there have been complaints about Ubisoft, just like EA and other AAA game companies about the really ridiculous stuff they do. For gamers that are still buying Ubisoft games, or games from game companies that do ridiculous stuff, and then the gamers complain, <sighs> You have only yourself to blame. If you have time and time again, you've been burned by this company and you continue to buy their games, you don't get to complain anymore. Okay? Uh, just stop it. <clears throat> okay? Another thing, uh, if anybody bought this game at full price, you should uh, contact Ubisoft and say, hey, you know, I was playing this game that I bought at full price, and an advertisement came on during the game about how I can get twenty percent off. Do so you want to give me my, want to give me twenty percent back if I already spent on the game? Um, I think that needs to be a thing. That hey, they're going to advertise this while you're playing the game. You bought it at full price. Do you need you need your twenty percent discount? And uh, I think people need to get on social media and really. Shout that out that hey, we want money back. We want our 20%. Uh, <clears throat> now, the, uh, the fact that AAA game companies are putting ads in games, having pay to win, uh, and talking about charging per hour, okay, these all signal, these are data points that signal the AAA game industry is not making money. It may have something to do with the fact that there's they're like spending more than a hundred million dollars on producing titles on all of them, some of them. Okay. I mean if you're successful in making a game, why would you want to start charging per hour and take off your fan base? Like Grand Theft Auto 6, Take Two Interactive wants to do. Um, that just signals to me, that tells me, in my opinion, that they're, they're not making money because I, and maybe I'm wrong, but <clears throat> it just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. If you're making money, why do something so radical that you risk alienating your entire fan base and doing something like this, putting ads in games? I mean, okay. Over the years, it's been proven Ubisoft is unethical, they're untruthful, they do shady things, they lie to consumers about what's going to be in their games. It's just, <clears throat> stop. Stop buying it, okay? At this point, if, if you complained before and you're complaining now about this, you're, you know what, you're the problem. That's just how it is. So, <clears throat> stop buying Ubisoft games. Stop doing it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.